So now, to keep the, uh, the day rolling, it is really a pleasure of mine to introduce our senior speaker, a young lady who actually I had an opportunity to have in my class, and somebody who our whole community should be very, very proud of, Malia Blake. class of 2015 were planted back in 2008. 18 of us inquisitive children joined together in the fall to set out on a journey that would last seven years. Now this impeccable class is fully rooted and grown to include 43 students. Today, today I'm celebrating this grade, our grade. My grade is made up of lively individuals and we bring together all of our best assets to complement each other. I take pride in the progress my classmates have made over the last seven years. We each contribute something special to the essence that is this class. We're made up of theater kids. Yeah. <laughs> I have watched as some of my closest friends have honed their craft, memorizing line after line, repeating steps, remembering stage directions, all to dazzle an audience as they take on the role of someone else. Kennedy Hammock amazed us all when she transformed into Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz and made the character her own. Danny Brown's personality transcends every role he is given. Kennedy and Danny both are just an inkling of the talent that taps and sings across, across stages throughout the South Bay. We play sports. I have seen the time and effort my classmates put into practicing. Over the years, I see who ran that extra mile, who went to batting practice hoping to rope a ball and maybe even a dinger. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know who made every spring and summer practice for football, believing that extra time would show on the field. I also know who was in the gym before sunrise working on their agility and performance on the court. It wasn't me, that's for sure. <laughs> but the athletes who did go above and beyond accomplished every goal they set. The people who add even more to my character, even more character to my grade though, are the ones who choose to color outside of the lines and represent with their artistic skills. There are artists in my grade who could paint the Mona Lisa if they wanted to. Their intention to detail is near heavenly. Beneath their fingertips, ideas become painted and sketched realities. Behind a few lenses, my peers provide points of views far more breathtaking than even Dorothea Lane could capture. No one for will forget the detail and time Jenny Solmeyer puts into every one of her fictional character renditions. She does what few others are even capable of. She is also just a glimpse at the skills tallied up within my class. But let me not forget that this is a school and why each of us was really here. That is, to learn. And learn we did. Students, students in this grade are the brightest people I've ever met. We've taken an array of AP classes. We've pushed ourselves to truly understand the definition of education, to fall in love with our courses and the process of learning. Looking at us from a superficial perspective, we've done pretty well for ourselves. We're all going to we're all going to college and our GPAs and SAT scores can do the talking of weird. Some of us played a role in helping the girls volleyball and boys basketball teams win CIF. Exactly one week ago, to, one week ago the girls softball team won CIF in their division. Many of our teams have also made it to CIF every year and competed against great schools. Others of us have put on musicals and fall plays continuously, and, yes, and this year one of our best actresses took home second place for Seeing Best at the Thespian Festival. Yeah. In Scholastics, the artists in my grade have beaten out thousands of other kids and received awards for their artwork too. And then there are those, who have, those of us who have rocked out every coffee house and put on the best performances. I'm sure everyone remembers when Kate the last session sang, hit me with your best shots. <laughs> Or when Luis Medina and Colin Whitmore started the band Twisted Ambition before pursuing their own individual <laughs> My grade has more than that to show for though. I am proud to be a part of this class because I am fortunate to know some people who have set an example for us all. Our grade knows the face of addiction. We see how one individual, Eric Landon, turned his life around and has achieved true happiness. His life is an example for us all. Our grade knows what it feels like to be the minority. Our grade knows what it feels like to be that minority, to stand out and have your skin, sexuality, or learning difference be the defining factor of your life. Emily Eisen and Gabrielle Belzer founded the Feminist Union and introduced this campus to the complexities women face in the world every day. Many of us have overcome stereotypes and unleashed a world of talents and possibilities. 
This grade has also seen its fair share of sickness, passing, and hardship also. Through all of it, we band together. We are each other's strength. We love each other, even though that love can be coupled with emotions similar to having a sibling. <laughs> all of the differences that embody my grade are what brings us together. The class of 2015 has developed a network of bonds and friendships that no one can break. These bonds only add to what we are capable of. Who else has gone through what we have other than us? A testament to our bonds came in the eighth grade during our outdoor ed trip. <laughs> we were on the third day of the trip, camped out along the Colorado River. It was the end of the day and everyone was tired from the eight hours of canoeing just completed. To top things off, our naturalist informed us that it would rain that evening. Drizzle turned into rain, rain turned into torrents of rain, and before we knew it, my entire class was in the middle of a flash flood. Cramped into a small outdoor restroom, my class tried to come to terms with what was happening. Where were our tents? What floated down the river? How are we going to get home? It would be an understatement to say that my grade spirit were tested during the few hours we succumbed to nature. But a beautiful thing happened. We came together. I remember people comforting others they rarely took the time out of their day to say hi to. I remember everyone trying to stay positive and lift each other up. I remember when two Christians, a Jew and an atheist, joined hands in prayer. <laughs> Before this incident, this class was amazing. Afterwards, we became even better. The past four years, this grade has transformed into who we are today. We are young adults who have reached a point in our lives where we understand the value of our lives and each other. Learning to appreciate each other, we've also conquered some pretty big obstacles. Etched in the spirit of every person in my grade is one similar characteristic. We are all resilient. How else could we have excelled in our classes? How else could we have competed day after day, year after year in the sports we loved? How else could we have become as talented as we are? How else could we have lived to survive another day? Everything that my grade is took time and patience. We knew what we wanted and we worked to get there. I have extreme confidence in my classmates and what we're capable of. I'm proud to stand here on the stage with all of them. I'm proud to have watched them grow up. I see revolutionaries in my grade. I see people who will heal bodies and minds. I look back behind me and I see a generation of resilient youth. Not one individual in my grade has ever backed down from a challenge. We may shake in our boots and have moments of uncertainty, but one thing is very certain. My grade, this very class, is leaving RHP and Renaissance better than we've entered with hundreds of gifts to offer the world. I will end with the words of former President Calvin Coolidge. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful people with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost legendary. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and de determination alone are omnipotent. So, to the class of 2015, my outstanding, gorgeous, driven, and empowered class, I say that I believe in all of you. The world is one big oyster for all of us to go out and conquer. Yeah.